guys. So today is Thursday. I have decided I'm gonna make a pea puffer tank because I love puffers so much. So I'm gonna grab a very small heater for the tank because it's a small tank and continue watching. I'm gonna probably upload this video on Saturday. Saturday is when I'm getting the pea puffers. I'm making sure that the aquarium is up and running a lot beforehand because they are so small they can't deal with a lot of an of an of ammonia and everything otherwise they'll die because they're little tiny so I'm gonna start getting everything set up for the tank make sure everything's up and running making sure all the levels are good before I put any fish in it so continue watching and I will see you guys on Saturday when I get the fish well right now we're gonna pick out the heater but then other than that Saturday all right so the tank that I have is about a five gallon tank so I'm gonna get the small heater that is up to five gallons so now that's all I'm gonna get for the tank because I have everything else for the tank already running and everything so catch me Saturday and then we will continue the rest of the video so see you then guys guys I lied I'm actually gonna get these little plants because they're really tiny and I think they'll look really cute in the aquarium okay now I will see you guys at Saturday all right guys so huge side note I don't know if you can see my windshield it's like super dirty because I ran out of windshield wiper fluid. But look what I just found, a bottle of water. So I'm gonna try throwing this on my windshield and see if it works. All right, here goes nothing. <laughs> Let's see if it worked. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that difference. Look at that difference. Kaboom. Look at that. What's up guys? So it is still Thursday. Well, it's like midnight, so I guess it's Friday. But anyway, so as you saw in my last video, I used this tank to set up with my beta. I actually moved my beta to my 55 gallon. I thought they would be better acclimated in there. But with this one, this is the tank that's going to be holding, holding the pea puffers. So I'm doing another water change. I've had water in this. I've had the filter running, everything running. I'm going to throw in the heater, throw in the filter, and then get this tank ready for the pea puffers that we will be getting on Saturday. So I'm going to do all that now. So... Keep watching. Guys, this is the smallest heater I've literally ever seen. But I got the water running, gonna throw in the heater, and then everything will be great for when I throw my pea puffers in the tank. Okay, so I washed all of my plants, as you should do with anything that you're putting in a new tank, because you never know what is on these, what chemicals they're holding or anything, and especially for such a small tank, I want to make sure that everything is perfect for it. I don't want anything bad that's in the tank. So now we're going to decorate. Alright guys, and now everything is all set up. I got the heater right there. I got the filter obviously. I got the light and I got the plants. I'm actually going to get some live plants because pea puffers like live plants. So I'm going to get some of those for here. So him or her, whatever I get, they will all be able to hide in them and have better, you know, sustainability in the tank. So see you guys on Saturday when I get the puffers. What's up guys? So today is Saturday. I actually have a cavity, so I am not going to be talking a lot because it really hurts. So, we're running to the fish plate. Now I have the puffers. And, yeah! <laughs> and we're going to go get them. Sorry about that.
guys, I have found the pea puffers. They are so tiny and they are so cute. I think I'm gonna get about three of them. So, let's get them. All right, guys, we got the fishies. Hey guys, so we have arrived home. We got all the fish that we need for the tank. I'm actually gonna run back to the fish store in a little bit and get some shrimp because I think it'll look good in the tank if the fish want to eat the shrimp later on. I mean, whatever, they're pretty cheap. So right now they're acclimating in my cichlid tank and I will show you guys what I got. All right, guys, so I got some ghost shrimp for the tank. I also got some java moss. If you could see it, get up oh, there it is. Got some java moss, and then I got some more green neon tetras. I also got this because it was a dollar. And then I also got this little guy. Okay, my camera. Wow. All right, I got that little guy. He is for my brackish water tank. It's he kind of looks like an angelfish. So I don't know. I thought he'd be a cool addition to the tank. My tank is finished. So I got my green neon tetras in the back over there and those are two of my puffers and I got my moss, got my fake plants, got my bubbler and everything looks great. So we're gonna do a run of my tank, check out everything, got my shrimp in there too and then we'll be all set. that is the end of my video. Thank you very much for sticking with me over the past few days and watching my video even though I can't talk because of my cavity. So continue watching, subscribe, like the video, and I will see you guys in the next video. So bye!